Hey guys, I'm Amrod, and in previous video I have shown you a light mapper. Uh, this tool where you can see uh, basically minimap and you can see light settings placed on that minimap. But uh, how do you set a light mapper that it shows your custom map? That's what I will discuss with you in this video. Uh, so first of all, uh, light mapper uh, uses uh, three DVCs here, like Light and Band and Map DVC, and it uses uh, these uh, map image files. Uh, so we will need to take care of both. Uh, so I will start with DVC. So I've got my three DVCs here. I will just create backups of uh, these like ones I've got here, and I will simply copy those three over here. So I've got my uh, customized DVCs here. And in the map DBC, I've got coins, uh, all kinds of things, but I've got this map 726 Metia. Uh, that's uh, one of my other projects, and that's map I will create in this video tutorial. Uh, so uh, we've got this map here in DBC, but uh, when we open Light Mapper, this this map still isn't here in this menu. It is missing here. And that's because there is no 726 image file here in this maps uh, folder. We will need to create it. Uh, so I will use my minimap for this. And in case you don't have minimap, uh, you can get away probably with uh, just, uh, you know, just with some uh, image file with ADT grid with numbers on it or something like that. But in case you have minimap, uh, then uh, you will probably want to use minimap because you will just more clearly see where is which light setting and how big it is. So in my case, uh, I will, or in your case as well, uh, we will need size of our uh, image file. So one tile of map 180p is in my case 256 pixels. Uh, so we will take to your size of your minimap tile file and uh, modify it by 64. So 20, uh, 156 times 64, and this is size of final map we will be creating right now. So file and new in Photoshop, and this is size of our map file. Now you will need to go to view menu, uh, make sure that snap is turned on and uh, snap to uh, grid is turned on as well and now go to show and you want to make grid visible so show grid now let's go to edit menu to preferences here and to uh, guides grid and slices and here uh, we will uh, want to set our grid line every and size of our grid line uh, and the size of our grid will be 256, at least in my case, because uh, size of my ADT uh, tile is 256. So we've got our grid set up now, and now uh, we will take one uh, ADT which uh, we will uh, use as starting point. So I will use uh, 3225 because this is uh, northwestern corner of my uh, island, of my map, basically. So I, I, will, I will be able to use this as a guideline. So what we will need to do is find out where is it supposed to be placed. Uh, so take its uh, x coordinate, that's 32, uh, times uh, size, which is 256, plus half of size, which is 128. And this is final coordinate of our tile, final x coordinate. Now we can place it here and just use this coordinate as x coordinate. So 8320. And now we would do the same with y coordinate. So that's 25 times 256 plus 128, and it's 6000. 6, 528, I think, and here it is. So we've got our tile placed on place where it is supposed to be here. And we can use this as a guideline, basically, 
and uh, we can just continue uh, with uh, you know with uh, another tile so 32 26 that's supposed to go beneath it we've got our grid here we've got uh, our snapping to grid uh, turned on so we can just always put it on grid and that's it and I will just continue with uh, placing all my minimap tiles here it probably can be done by some sort of script or something like that I just am not very good at these uh, things so I will do this by hand in this tedious way you don't have to tell me that it is it can be done in a better way but if you know how to do this um, uh, more quickly I would really, uh, like to know and I will just continue I won't uh, make whole map like this but you will basically place your whole minimap into this grid now uh, until it is done and now Control shift n create new layer place that layer beneath your ADTs and uh, fill it with bucket tool with I usually use black color and you get our map done so we can now uh, turn grid off uh, show and we've got our map done basically so in case it was done actually uh, now I will scale it down because this is just too big this isn't really necessary so I will scale it down to half this is common size of map in lightmap as you can see in lightmap and maps uh, these maps have this size common so let's use this size it will take same time because it is a very large image and now we can save it as JPEG file as JPG G, into uh, into Lightmapper Maps folder and uh, name will be uh, ID of our map so in my case it's 726 that's ID of my uh, media map and I will use this so save it and you don't have to use maximum quality actually I wouldn't recommend doing so uh, it's really like you know 8 is just enough or you can uh, use even lower one it's just okay you don't really have to care about it too much okay now this image isn't too complicated so it won't take that much time to save it so we've got our uh, map file here already that's 726 and you can see that there are always small files which are sort of minimap of minimap or sort of preview or something like that and that's uh, 200 times 200 and that's called uh, small so it again let's scale it down to 200 times 200 and save it yet again as a jpeg and name will be 726 and small Now we've got our two images here, both of them, and we've got our DBCs set up as well. We've got our customized DBCs with our custom map here. So you can just write, uh, just uh, run light mapper, and as you can see down here, a media map has appeared here, 726. And when we open it, we can see our preview here. That's that small image, and we can see that large image here, that map we have uh, made. And you can see that I've got my light settings here as well, which are placed on that map. And you can really even see how big they are, how big space they are taking, and so on. Uh, so this can be quite a handy tool. It can be quite nice to use to check uh, what your map looks like and so on. So if you want to use light mapper with your custom maps, this is the way of doing that. So that's all for this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. And as always, Happy morning.